home. Um, this is an elemental manor. Uh, this is just a little place I keep in town. You know, if I'm shopping and I'm tired and I've bought, you know, I've got a heavy bag of tea or something, then I'll just, this is just, you know, I let people walk around in it, but I live, when I stay, I stay in, in that dome, in that little dome. And I keep, um, I keep Jeffrey in any one of the four towers, really. I, you know, he's chained in so he can't get out. You know, it's quite safe. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll show you around some of the Brighton Mile. So, um, thank you for stopping by again. It's lovely to see you. We've had a nice cup of tea. We've been uh, had a quick look at the pavilion. Uh, but what, I hear you ask, uh, what else can I do when I'm in Brighton, apart from search for Professor Elemental and try and track him down and give him a cuddle? Um, well, I like to spend my lunch times primarily at the pier, going on the Crazy Mouse, um, which is possibly the most dangerous roller coaster in the country, um, as it is just over the sea and is normally operated by a disinterested uh, student from Holland or somewhere like that. Um, when I'm not to the Crazy Mouse, then I'll uh, sometimes go to Dave's Comics, a very good comic shop in town, um, or I'll just roll around on the grass here like an excited puppy, pleased to be in Brighton. So, um, Lovely. Do come and see us soon, and uh, hopefully I'll see you here. All the best. Hi, this is Connie Ancello from the Underground on ILH Radio. Hello. We're finally here in Brighton with Professor Elemental. Welcome, welcome. Yeah. Well, it's so great to meet you, and how are you today? It's bloody lovely that you finally made it down here. I understand you had to travel for <laughs> hours and hours on horseback and through underground right. tunnels and all sorts to get here. It was here, only so. three hours, it's fine. It's still, that's an impressive amount just to come for a cup of tea, so I'm, um, I'm very pleased to have you here in oh, the lovely okay. Marwood. Uh, cafe, it's delightful. Yeah. Lovely. So, um, to all the people who have never heard of you before, please tell us about yourself. Is there any? Is... I'm afraid so. People have been asking who you are, and I just want to uh, introduce you to them. Yeah, let me know who they are, and <laughs> <laughs> I'll track them down and introduce myself in okay. full. Uh, and so, my name's Professor Elemental. Um, I'm a noted uh, rapper um, with a bit of a penchant for steampunk and inventions and taxidermy and exotic dance. Oh. Exotic dance, yeah, I have actually seen you doing a bit of your exotic dance in your videos, absolutely fantastic stuff. Um, so, steampunk, tell us what steampunk is then. I haven't got a bloody clue. That's a <laughs> it's an area that I'm quite interested in because this is all new to me. Uh, steampunk itself is really new to me. I've <laughs> mispronounced it for years as steampunk. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's what I do now, steampunk. Uh, no, steampunk is, well it was weird because when I started doing this and you know, as for, for the listener's point of view, if you don't know what I look like, um, you should look at me, look at the picture of my handsome face. But I basically, I'm a, a rapper, but I'm, I'm dressed in a, a safari suit and a pith helmet and I have a pipe and I rap about Victorian things. And then I started getting loads of emails sort of randomly from people people saying, you, you know, you're my favourite steampunk person, and I was just like, what in the bloody hell are you talking about? <laughs> and then since I've found out about steampunk, and it's lovely, it's like, um, it, it's kind of a, a look of sort of Victorian things done in a modern way, it's like a, uh, and the style is kind of like a fetish night in a comic convention had a baby. <laughs>